Saudi Arabia's security officials are on high alert. 100,000 troops have been deployed across Mecca. There is at least one police car on every corner. Even the skies of the holy city are protected. Every year before Hajj season, we look back at previous years to learn from our mistakes. The number of troops doesn't matter, as long as they don't hamper the flow of pedestrians. But if we need more, we'll deploy as many officers as necessary. There are many more on standby. The potential threats are numerous. In July, coordinated bomb blasts shook the kingdom. It's the first time a terror attack has taken place so close to the Prophet Muhammad Mosque in Medina, the second holiest site for Muslims after Mecca. Authorities have realized that the Hajj too could be targeted. We take every possible scenario seriously, particularly when it's pilgrimage time, whether it's terror threats or merely the day-to-day -day safety of pilgrims. For many years, terrorists have targeted the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We have joined international efforts to counter terrorism, and we take all precautionary measures to protect Mecca and the Hajj. Apart from providing a security presence, the police help to direct traffic and check visas. Seeing them in action makes visitors feel safe. I was quite worried before I left Sudan, but when I arrived, I was impressed with how organized everything is. I'm so thankful to the custodians of the Holy Mosque. Wherever I go, the roads are secure and I feel safe. There's at least one police officer for every 30 pilgrims here in Mecca and more standing by. So far, it's a smooth task. But the real challenge for the police begins on Saturday when millions start moving. Fingers here are crossed. Everyone is praying that nothing happened to ruin this huge Muslim peaceful gathering. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Mecca, Saudi Arabia.